Hi guys, my name is PC Salim and I'm the Safer Schools Officer for the Metropolitan Police. Some of you have probably seen me in your schools already come and talk about certain subjects. Today we're going to be talking about online safety. As you know, many of the schools are now closed, so this is the only way we can keep you safe at home, by interacting with you via internet. So I hope you enjoy this video. There's some tips for you and your parents to listen to. Okay, so let's start. Do you know how to stay safe online? Parents, do you know how to keep your children safe online? If yes, then that's great. If no, don't worry, that's what we're here for. We're here to give you some tips today on how to keep your children safe online. So what do we use to go on the internet? You might use your parents' phone. You might have a smartphone of your own. You may use a computer. You may even use a games console. Even our TVs these days have internet. You guys are probably using the internet to do research, to do homework, to go shopping online, to play games online, and to keep in touch with family and friends. Okay, when we're talking about keeping in touch with family and friends, is it only family and friends that have access to us on the internet? The answer is no. It's not only family and friends. Who else can access your information? That's right, strangers. What's a stranger? I'm sure a lot of you know what a stranger is. You've probably warned by schools and your teachers not to talk to people that you don't know. The same rule applies online. Anyone can have access to your information on the internet. So the way to keep safe is don't talk to people that you don't know because they're a stranger. Another thing to take into consideration, don't share personal information online. What's personal information? Personal information is things like your name, your age, your birthday, where you live, and even your school. The more information you put out there, the more people will know about you. That includes people that you don't know. We all like to take photos and we use our phones and tablets to take them. We take photos of ourselves, our friends, and our family. But it's always important to get permission from the person you've taken the photo of before you share it. It's important to get permission to keep yourself and your friends and family safe. Now imagine someone takes a photo of you that they find is funny but you don't know about it. Then they share it amongst your friends and they're all laughing. It's not very nice is it? Also not only can your friends see this photo now so can other people. It's really important to be kind and respect one another. Some people use the internet to be mean to one another because you can't see them. This is not right. This can lead to something called cyberbullying. Also, if there's something that you feel that is not right online, make sure you tell an adult, someone like your parent, a teacher, or even your brother or sister. Most importantly, never ever meet someone that you've met online who you don't know. Sometimes people pretend to be someone that they're not. So it's very important that you don't go and meet them. Let's sum up what we've spoken about today. Tip number one, don't talk to strangers. Tip number two, don't share your personal information. Tip number three, don't share people's photos without their permission. Tip number four, never ever meet a stranger that you've met online. And most importantly, guys, be kind to one another.